you know that in just a few minutes, Colleen. And yeah, it's been a while since we've seen a seven day forecast like this. It <laughs> certainly has. All right. Thanks, Tamara. Coming up next. Well, it's a long-held debate. Are cell phones safe, or are they linked to an increase in brain tumors? Dr. Rhonda Lowe is here with more on a huge study designed to answer that question. Doctor? Well, you know, Colleen, approximately 70% of us use cell phones, and we spend more than six hours a month on our mobile device. Now, results are in for the largest study of its kind. 10,000 people from 13 countries with a decade worth of data. But those results are already stirring controversy. CTV's Avis Favreau reports. Those cell phones are literally glued to our heads. I think it's a great device. It's mobile. You know, we all use that. But does electromagnetic radiation from those cells boost the risk of brain tumors? Frustrating. Where do we go from here, doctor? We know, Colleen, already many, many experts disagree with the findings in this study, saying the research methods were very flawed. And at best, I think we can say that these results are inconclusive and we still don't know the long-term safety of cell phones. And that's why there are more studies underway using the newer cell phone technology and taking into account today's increased usage. Meanwhile, if in doubt, I always tell my patients to use a hands-free device and limit the amount of time your child spends on a cell phone. Yeah, that's good advice anyway. Isn't it? All right. Thanks okay. so much, doctor. Stay with us. Coming up next. He's one of Canada's most beloved and successful children's authors. But now Robert Munch is revealing something surprising, some rather surprising details about his personal life. Well, the TD Vancouver International Jazz Festival starts June 25th, and all this week, CTV is giving you a chance to win some great jazz festival prizes. This 25th anniversary year lineup includes an amazing lineup of stars. Trivia question. You could win a pair of tickets to the BC Honda Dealers Classic Sounds at the Centre, plus be entered for a chance at the grand prize of a VIP jazz festival experience, including festival passes for two, a night at the Lister Hotel, and much, much more. For details on the contest, go to ctvbc.ca, click on contests at the top of the page and follow the links. The grand prize winner will be announced next Tuesday on QMFM 103.5 with Mike and Tara in the morning. Well, it was five years ago that YouTube became a word. It also became a website that now has a worldwide following. YouTube currently boasts two billion viewings a day. So if a picture is worth a thousand words, well, you do the math. Tamara, you're busy today. I was busy last night. Was, oh, my goodness. I was going to say 12 courses? 12 courses. Oh, I was so stuck. the size of my finger. Where did it go? It was so good. Honestly, you didn't need all 12 courses, did you? Of course you? I did. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, they're small, you know. I know, but still. They were great. They look good. Yeah, it was really good. Well, good for you. Thank you. Lucky you, really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's show you what's happening with our weather. We are, well, we're going to keep in a chance of showers for tonight because we're seeing the showers move up from the south. You can watch it just move up the jet stream and we're already seeing a little bit of activity on the island. That will keep us wet for tomorrow. We should ease through the day. As we get into Wednesday, we're watching this activity right here. It'll continue to push across and, you know, for the next three days or so, we're looking at periods of rain or showers on and off. So there's definitely a change in the air. Showers for you tomorrow in Masset with a high of 12 degrees, period of rain through Prince Rupert Terrace and Smithers at 18. A chance of showers later in the day in Dees Lake. Also in Fort Nelson and Fort St. John. Fort St. John 24 degrees and also looking at a risk of a thunder shower a little bit later on in the day. The showers arrive uh, mid-morning for you in central BC. You have a risk of a late day thunder shower 20 and 21. Showers through the day in Bella Coola. Periods of rain for you and 15 degrees in Hope. And as we move into the southeast, yeah, some early morning sunshine in Revelstoke, Nelson and Cranbrook. A chance of showers in the afternoon also looking at a risk of a late day thunder shower 24 25 and 26 so still quite warm tomorrow showers everywhere else and a chance of a late day thunder shower 20 in Kamloops 21 in Vernon Kelowna and Desoya so as we take a closer look at the south coast and where we are in the way of rain this is for 7 p.m. tonight so we're there's our chance of showers. It looks like it'll arrive a little bit later on. We dry out overnight, and then as we get into the morning, you can see it definitely moves up from the south, and we should be into the heaviest amounts first thing in the morning. Things easing as we get into the afternoon, and then by evening, I think you just saw that wave move across, and it continues to push through. So 
We're wet on and off for the day tomorrow. Periods of rain everywhere on the island and a little bit cooler, 13 or 12 to 15 degrees everywhere. Showers for you on the Gulf Islands, also in Victoria. As we move on to the Sunshine Coast, periods of rain again, heavier amounts in the morning, but we'll still keep in a chance later on in the day. Squamish 15 and periods of rain. Whistler, more like showers for you in 12 degrees. And in Metro Vancouver, we can expect a little bit below seasonal. Seasonal is uh, 16 degrees. It'll be 14 tomorrow afternoon, 15 in Abbotsford, and periods of rain. Like I said, chance of showers in the afternoon. So tonight, Metro Vancouver, we have a chance of a shower. Slight chance we'll put in. Uh, 11 degrees, so it's a warm overnight period. Periods of rain in the morning, so it's, you know, it's not a total washout. I just wanted to show you some amounts. So this is where we're expecting the next 24 hours. You know, anywhere from 5 to 9 millimeters of rain. So it's not like a it's winter bad. storm. It's a, you know, it's yeah. spring. Yeah. All right. So then that should make you feel better when you see Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> Even better when I see yeah, Saturday and no Sunday. No kidding. Yeah, exactly. As long as it dries out for the weekend. But again, the rain is on and off, so it's not solid for 72 hours. It's, you know. Okay. A little bit here, a little bit there. We haven't had rain for a while, so. No, and um, yeah, it'll save me from watering my garden. There you go. You know, there's something good about it, Let right? Let Mother Nature do it. Exactly. Uh, we have uh, selected our photo for our MyBC contest. Come on. Cute. How cute. This is from Shannon Leclerc of Langley. She took this photo of her son earlier this month at Brookswood Park Playground. He's so cute. I, think I he's can't got a Canucks it. hat on too. He does. Yeah. Uh huh. Sweet. If you'd like to show us your BC photo on CTV News at Five, go to ctvbc.ca. Click on contest on the top of the page and follow the links. And of course, you could win a Canon camera from Broadway Camera. So Fabulous. it's all good to take more great yeah. pictures with. For sure. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Tamara. Still to come. When you're a police officer, you never know who or what you're going to pick up. Like this little guy found wandering around Toronto. The police put him in the back of the cruiser to drop him off at nearby Lake Ontario. Now, once the police got close to the lake, he said, thank you boys for the ride, and hopped out and waddled home, and then swam home. I wonder how they know if he said, thank you for the ride. They're just assuming he's polite. <laughs> That was crazy. Bill, what do you got coming up at 6? Well, Colleen, thousands of young students are looking forward to escape from school in a few short weeks. News at 6. All right. Thanks so much, Bill. Stay with us. We've got more of CTV News at 5 coming up after this. There is no definitive cause, but millions of children have ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. But today, some big news, and our Dr. Rhonda Lowe has more on this. Doctor. Well, Colleen, really, we know that the exact cause of ADHD is a bit of a mystery. But a new study says the condition may be linked to pesticides commonly used on vegetables and fruits kids love to eat. ABC's Andrea Canning reports. Now, pesticide association with ADHD does not imply causation. But other studies have also suggested a link. So until more research is done, parents might want to be watchful about their child's risk for pesticide exposure. Don't just wash your hands, wash your fruits and vegetables. That's right. All right. Well, thanks so much, doctor. Coming up next. Are you a permissive parent or a so-called mean mom or dad? Well, if you've ever felt guilty for laying down the law to your kids, you're about to hear some advice and perhaps something more important, some support from the self-proclaimed president of the Mean Moms Club. And I'm thinking it probably works best when both parents are on board with the same attitude. Yeah, you know, I don't really disagree with anything they said. Do I know. You? No, I don't. I was I was raised pretty much that way. Yeah, and you know, Zoe is 19 months old, and she's already ready to walk all over me. Like, ah. and if I try to like be firm with her, she just laughs at me, and I'm thinking, wow, you're 19 months old. Oh my goodness, Tamara. What's gonna happen when you're 15? You're gonna have to toughen up a little. I am gonna have to toughen up. Sometimes <laughs> it's so easy though to just give in. Well, she's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, let's show you what's happening with it. Whether you can feel the change in the air, and boy, oh boy, it's coming. A chance of a shower tonight, 11 degrees. Periods of rain beginning tomorrow morning. It'll ease up in the afternoon. I will have a full look at that seven day forecast for you coming up during CTV News at 6. Alrighty, thanks, Tamara. That is CTV News at 5. Thanks for joining us. CTV News at 6 starts right now. From Robson and Burrard in downtown Vancouver, this is CTV News. Here is Bill Good. Good evening. Organizers of the anti-HST petition 
say they're only 13 ridings away from collecting enough signatures to force the provincial government